You are being born into a small place from a world full of warm motherly water to a claw-scraped space that is tiny and crystalline. Your skin bristles with its new sensation of movement and proximity, and your first breath is close and steamy. Your mother shuffles your gravity to you, licks you clean, and gives you your first rich draught of milk. With a mouth full of security and a newfound sense of otherness, you come to realize, Sikumi Inugama, I was born on the ice. Now you are born with a circle of twinkling eyes around you, your mother sighing as the last of her pains depart from her. The light is exciting and briny as you try to squint into the middle distance. While you grow, the people with the twinkling eyes shape your hands around the broth-boiled bones and set your legs towards hummocking and rolling grounds. These eyes always teaching you Tekuhitsikumi, look out at the ice. Now, I've heard it said that you only know people if you eat the same kind of food. And I wonder if this is true. Here we have the coming together of two beings. One, a tiny white seal pup, born in a cave far out on the sea ice. The other, a twinkly-eyed boy, born to a family who lives off the sea ice. And the new moon of March, marked by the warm change and the cold, hard winds of winter, the first of the seal pups are born. The broad, strong hands of the sea people tighten ropes, check engines, melt frosted whiskers, and assess the weather. As the seal pups lie in their crystalline homes and suckle from their silver-haired mothers, the sea people nearly fly across the ice, flashing the bright-colored marks of cylindered, pistoned machines. The time is nigh when these men can see the steam of unfrozen water and they roam a region filled with the tracks of other long-necked, four-legged hunters. The time is upon us when in a quiet, breath-held moment, the crust of snow that separated a small space from the outside is suddenly crushed. A bullet sears through hair and flesh, and the heart of the seal pup is stopped, blood splattering the snow like syncopation in a song. In the moment of death, life is instantly transferred. Death spells the nourishment of life. The seal becomes the boy, and the seal becomes the boy. The strong, broad hands of the sea people turn the bright-colored machines homeward. And finally, their twinkling eyes greet the young boys. Tonight, we eat seal. <laughs>